sound like an anagram, but they are, in fact, Sweden's finest magic guy. Please welcome Rolf and Ljung. Hello, I'm Jonas, and this is Peter. It's time for the world's most difficult card trick. And some of you might wonder what makes this trick the world's most difficult card trick. And a simple but yet brilliant answer is duct tape. By taping Peter's head. <laughs> and thereby blocking most of Peter's senses. We make it almost impossible for him to find the card that you, Mr. Teller, will select in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is entertainment. <laughs> I brought the deck of cards, uh, and I would like you to select one, preferably a red, because we're going to write on it. And I brought a pen as well. Please. Write your signature across the face of the card. You know, in Sweden, I could probably trade that autograph for a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back. Now, because of the signature, this card is unique. There's only one card in the world right now that looks exactly like this. I need a number as well, a number between uh, 5 and 15. Um, 11. Eleven, that's a great number. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so Peter, today's number is eleven. Okay? <clears throat> Are you ready, Peter? Let's go. Now, despite all the tape covering Peter's head, he will use his amazing sleight of hand abilities to locate your card, shuffle it around a bit, and place it on the eleventh position, counting from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most difficult card trick. <laughs> now it's because it's it's the world's most difficult card trick, so we you can't succeed at once. You have to like we build suspense. This is basically how we <laughs> do it. So a new number between five and fifteen. A six. Six, that's that's a great number, Peter. You Thank missed you. just slightly. <laughs> Okay, so six is the new number. Okay, go ahead, Peter. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Approximately six. <laughs> Woo! I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> well, it was most difficult, Cotty. We built suspense again and again. <laughs> uh, you know, now in Sweden, if you would fail like this, this would be totally appropriate. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, so we need a new number would be like boring. Mm. Uh, let's improvise. I mean, this is this is how we do it all the time. A staple gun. Okay, so here's the plan. I will spring the cards up in the air. Peter will find one staple that will hit your card so it falls down center stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most difficult card trick. Are you ready? Interesting part. Keep your eyes on Peter. A pair of scissors. The first thing we did, the first thing, uh, thing we did was to tape Peter's head. After that, you selected a card which you signed, which means that there's only one card in the world that looks like that. I think that Peter has something in his mouth. Neatly folded four times. Now, if this is really your card. Then it's a pretty good trick. Yes or no, is this Talos card? Sure looks like it. Sorry. Renault yes. and Young, that yes. was great. We loved it. It was Thank super you. entertaining, wasn't it? Great fun. I had no idea how you would do that at the end. To come out of the mouth it was fabulous. There's the tape hurt round your face because there's still a big mark across the top of your eyes. <laughs> <laughs>
You can try. We have more than not. <laughs> you see this? Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a big chunk of hair yeah, on that. You can see that this one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You can't do this act for too long. You're one. No, you, <laughs> you can tell? Uh, yeah, yeah, you actually, you're losing it from the top there. <laughs> Let's see uh, how the fellas are doing. Pen teller. Fabulous act, huge oh, entertaining, I'm sure you Such a fabulous it. act. I believe if we were younger, better looking, and lived in Sweden, this would be us. <laughs> <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> Has Penn and Teller stuff ever been shown in Sweden? You've ever seen us work? Yes, yes. we grew maybe, up with it. Then maybe I can explain this to you in, in ways that, uh, that you'll understand. Uh, the fake reveal was something that we, uh, a very nice version of something we did a couple of times on the David Letterman show. And the final thing you did at the end, we once did that same folded card and switching thing, which I bet you didn't see. But I said the important word, which is a switch there. Uh, I will just say maybe this will give you enough because I love this act yeah. so much okay. and I really don't want to tip so it because you should be doing this forever. So you're, you're, you're kind of feeling quite comfortable now, quite happy about your, the work you've done so far on this and you're feeling reasonably happy about what's been said. Yeah, you're feeling very happy. Did you do a card switch? No, no, no. at all. Mr. Penn, who was looking so happy and pleased with himself just 30 seconds ago. Did you see that? They were sitting back in the chair. We did that on this, we did that on this, I did this on that. Did you see this? But they didn't, did they? No, they so didn't. let's hear what Penn has to say now. I'm even happier now than I was before because we love these guys, we want them in Vegas, and they fooled us. Yeah! <laughs> Heading out with a spring in their set. I enjoyed that so much <laughs> because I knew and you were going down. I think he's going to say switch. He's going to say switch. It isn't a switch. <laughs> <laughs>